Hello, queens and kings, Dana Store Coats. It's that time again. Yep, it's haul time. Thought we'd go over a couple of the items that came in the other lots. Just wanted to touch base and show you how they cleaned up and what information I know about them so far. Well, this is nine karat gold. It was vintage. Uh, it's a ring made by Yuri Geller, the illusionist or mysticist or however he wants to go by. It is a seven and a half. Currently, I still need to measure it up and give you the weight on the, the quartz. This is going to be about, like, uh, I'd say, between three and four carats. It is a color change sapphire. It is set in 18 karat gold. It is Egyptian, and it is Hallmark for 1928. So it is indeed Art Deco. Currently, it is a seven. Now this, it looks so rich. I thought it was an 18 karat gold. It's nine karat gold. It is Edwardian, 1912. Mark for Birmingham, 1912. And it is just over a five. They're just stunning, stunning diamonds. I mean, are they the like, you know, is it, are they one carat rocks or something? No, but a brilliant, beautiful white diamond. I'll take them over a big yellow chunk or whatever any day of the week. The little Victorian gold pencil, nine carat gold. These retail between 300 and 500 pounds. I nearly fell out of my chair. Uh, let's see, what else did you love? Well, the charm bracelet we know about. Unfortunately, this does not fit my swivel. So I'm gonna take it into Bob and see if he can make up a top for it. What it looks like, it wasn't just a swivel. See, there's a there was a bolt there, a bolt there, a bolt there, and a bolt there. Now, what I have had are swivel brooches that it connected all those ways. You know, like the four points on a compass. But it is nine carat gold. So we're definitely going to do something with that. I decided to throw it around. Up. Uh, I did oil the Cameo. It is also nine karat gold, but please do not ask me to have a guilt because it has had, it is Victorian and they were notorious for lead repairs. You can see it's had some lead repairs there. And even if Bob treats them with copper, he still won't be able to re-gild it safely. Um, oh, it says May. It's engraved May on the back, how pretty. So, even though um, if he regilds it or covers it with copper before he regilds it, I, last time I ruined his solution, I had something go through that had lead on it and it just, it destroyed his solution. And the solution is, he had just replaced it and it's over 300 pounds. Now, this is on a 17 inch, nine karat gold chain. Very pretty and nine karat gold coin holder. The coin is from 1911. Now, they made a lot of these enamel coins. It's at this point, I Most struggled to think of the term coin mounting. Three <laughs> pens on them. I cannot find one with a two. I mean, the coin is actually, isn't actually the highest value, the gold, the gold holder, you know, coin holder and, and the gold chain has the most value, unfortunately. Uh, I 
think that's it for as far as a review, what you, you know, things that I had to research a little bit on. So let's get on with the haul. Told you it was a big haul because I wasn't joking. I gotta pull the camera back. Let me take these pieces off and set them aside. It's a big box. And I'm going to try to open it on the desk. What it looks like is a huge shoe box. Well, I say huge, and then my son, who wears a size 15. Not quite his size shoe box, but uh, it says ten and a half on the side. They've got to be men's because that's a big shoe. There aren't too many ten and a half women's shoes. I mean, there are, but they're not common, are they? Oh Lord! work. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, you'll see once I start taking things out why everything is packed so well. delicate bit. Okay, it's in a bag at least. Like there's a really delicate thing in there. They're, they're all rolled up. Oh, that's a large branch of red coral. Eighteen carat bale. My small items here, of course, and there are large items here. Ah, okay. Yes, looking very much forward to this. <sighs> yes, okay. I'm addicted to opals, but what? What kind of ring is this? Only a Victorian harem ring. They're called harem rings because they were rings that were thought to be invented in Turkey and Victorians were in love with anything from the Orient. See, it's got that band of metal in the back. It's the first stacker ring. Oh, oh, and I thought when I saw it in the auction. Um, hmm, I'll probably try and offer it on, on the channel. I don't, they're, they're thousands usually. It's 14 karat gold. And it, maybe it just won't leave my finger. You, they can't be sized. That is the one thing they cannot be sized. And you can see that fits my finger like someone made it for my finger. Oh dear, 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 dear. What to do? What to do? 
Okay, these are two pendants. One of these is a fantastic Charles Horner Art Nouveau. How much light there is coming. There we go. A little bit better. Funny they weren't on chains, but that's, I have antique chains. That's not a problem. This is probably paste, you know, crystal by the color of the pendant, but it's Edwardian. Ooh, clanky sounds, probably not good. We'll, we'll get a better look at the jewelry once I take all this out of the box. This is just a lot to open up here. Oh my gosh, there's so many bits. Yeah, this was a, um, I had a lot of success, shall we say, at this little auction. This one is Edwardian. Beautiful Vesta case. Well, no, that's not. That's Victorian. And this one is Art Nouveau. Oh, the snap on that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, you know I make bracelets out of many of those silver um, belt buckles. Now this one is hallmarked for Art Nouveau. And what I intend to do with this one is to make a big fabulous necklace out of it. I'm going to attach chains to it. Probably two chains at the top and at the bottom. And oh, what a stunning necklace that will make. Now, One has a, uh, oh, this was a 1963. Well, or 1964, I'd have to keep it. It's a 1963 half dollar. And another huge British charm bracelet. Teapots, a bird cage. Oh, oh a big golden retriever. And I love you, uh, Bournemouth, St. Christopher, a witch. Ah, oh, this is a great charm bracelet. What what other charm bracelet? What other Br charm bracelet other than a British charm bracelet would you have? The Bible and a witch. Uh, a big whale, a slipper, a park bench with a heart. Two slippers, actually. Uh, wedding rings, uh, the heart as a charm, the key to 21. Then we're back to the teapot. Michigan, okay, they like to travel. Oh, the bird cage. Wow, look at that bird cage charm. That is incredible. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is heavy heavy oh my gosh it's got to be a hundred grams at least uh 98 99 or 98 9 I'm the same. Is that it? That's it for those bags. Okay. Oh, oh, 
Ooh, that's rattling. <laughs> I don't like when it's rattling. Oh, it's rattling because there, there are bits and pieces in it, that's all. It's not rattling because it's broke, thank goodness. These are fabulous. I I think I said I love trinket boxes. And I collect trinket boxes. Porcelain and silver. This one is Cupid. It's fantastic. She's an Art Nouveau lady, but I think she's newer. She feels newer, but we'll check her out. And this has a silver top, and it's leather lined. And what this is, I think it's an antique wind box. It's leather, and it's a fairy. Well, it is Hallmark, so we'll have to check the Hallmarks out, and I'll give you a date. It is a fairy with a peacock, and it's leather lined. Wow. Okay. That's it was gorgeous. about this point I had to stop and make dinner. Okay. I'm the end of the box, I think. Yes. I think we can take this. Oops, there is more in there. forever since we had some pearls. This is 14 karat gold. And they look like cornflake pearls. Look at the color. They're golden and pink and delicious. All right. Oh, I know what this is. My butterfly lot. There's a butterfly ring. And a butterfly brooch. The palm tree is very deco. And then a fantastic necklace. Of course, those are all tiny hand-painted miniatures, and they are Thomas L. Mott. All right, this is the uh, take a deep breath. I have been hunting for the last year for a set that was in perfect condition, and I finally got one. Let's hope. Let's hope that it was shipped well. I do. I do think so. Wow. Okay. Um, bonus hair. Somebody had pretty ginger hair. Two brushes. Just the most perfect shade of bedroom blue. The mirror is in good condition as well. Of course, I will clean all of this. And then one is a smoothing brush and one is a closed brush. But they're also perfect as well. So we'll do a little quick recap here. Let me see if I can get a quick uh, hallmark on this little box.
No, it's really dark. I can't see the letters. I'll have to clean it to get it. But what an incredible case that is. Leather and leather lined. Be fantastic for little bits of jewelry. This we know is Victorian. I think now that this one is reproduction, which is sad. I was hoping that it was. Yeah, because I see 925 there. Unfortunately, it's still beautiful Art Nouveau Vesta. And they're still crazy money when they're remade like that. But that is Art Nouveau style, unfortunately. This is definitely Art Nouveau. Completely hallmarked. Like I said, I can't wait to put this together and make a stunning necklace out of it. You wait till you see it. I've got it in my head. <laughs> That's where it needs to be, right? This is the Victorian 14 karat gold. Gorgeous opal harem ring. H-A-R-E-M. Look them up. I cannot wait to clean and polish these opals. And if you wear the same size ring I do, and you, you fancy that. And the Charles Horner. I think I can see a, a little bit of loss there, which is unfortunate. A little bit of enamel loss. But to be quite honest, the like nude, co nude color that it is, I can't wait to clean it up and see how it presents. Yeah, Charles Horner. I'll give you a date on that later. And I'm not sure if this is dated or not, but the style is more Edwardian than it is Art Nouveau. That's how you can tell them apart or how I tell them apart. Now, this is definitely Victorian red coral with an 18 karat. This would make a fantastic pendant. I don't know if this is Hallmark. This might be continental silver. It's definitely silver. That is not, here we go. Here we have some Hallmarks. And I'll look those up for you. Another Cupid. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, 925. She's a reproduction. Art Nouveau. So these two are both Art Nouveau style. Uh, is that it? I mean, I'm saying it like, is that it? I think it is. Look like a much bigger haul. I know it was a very expensive haul, but you can see why. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's haul and today's haul. And comment on your favorite. Let me know what you love the most. I hope this wasn't too dark. I just pulled that light over. Should have pulled it over earlier. Um, of course, my personal favorite would be the harem ring, but um, you let me know what yours is. Well, oh, I don't know. Love the dresser set, too. Dying for the dresser set. <sighs> Enjoy your Sunday. I miss you all, and I'll see you all very soon.